What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ray and I'll be taking your x-rays. In this video we're going to be going over a routine hip exam that includes the pelvis and uh, what we do at our facility. We either do a frog or if it's uh, obviously an injury, rule out fracture, you're going to do a cross table hip. Also if they're uh, 55 years old and above we do a weight bearing pelvis for osteoarthritis to compare both hips. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'll be taking x-rays. What brings you in today? Uh, my right hip. It's right hip. For a couple days now. All right, cool. That's what we have here. So I uh, have you on your back here. Head on the pillow, please. Right. So how long have you been having your pain for? Uh, I'd say severe pain probably the last couple days. Here. couple days. Yeah. Did you fall? Was it caused by injury to your knowledge? Uh, yeah, I kind of fell. Okay. Right Uh-oh. All right. Any surgeries? Any previous injuries? Anything like that? No. All right, so I'm just gonna, uh, we're gonna take a picture of your full pelvis and then adjust of that hip, okay? okay? So I'm just gonna fill the top of your hip here. Take a breath in, blow it out. Breathe normal. So you're gonna roll your toes together so they touch. There you go. And hold still. All right, you can relax your toes. All right, sir, so that's what we're gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you stand over here. Your back is gonna be against this board. You're gonna be facing this way. I'm gonna get everything lined up to your height, and then once I do, you're just gonna kinda of pigeon toe here, and then I'll uh, take the image, all right? So I'll go ahead and stand there, back against the board, please. Just gonna feel the top of your hip here. Take your breath in, blow it out. Breathe normal. We're gonna roll your toes together, kind of pigeon toe there. There you go. All right, hold still. All right. All right, and then it's your right hip again, correct? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna bring your right knee up about halfway. Right about there, you're gonna drop your knee down towards me halfway. Right there is good. And then I'm just gonna feel your hip here again, all right? Hold still. You can relax, we're all done. So in a moment here, I'm gonna uh, bring your good leg up and put your foot in a holder here, okay? You have nothing wrong with your uh, left leg, do you? Your left hip? Okay.
How's your day so far? I could be better. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. We're going to cross your arms high across your chest. Uh, put your elbows up there, so kind of... There you go, good, thank you. Just going to feel your hip here again. So with your uh, left leg, we're going to bend your left knee towards your chest. So bring this up. And then we're going to put your foot on this holder here. Bring it up more if you can. Is that all right right there? All right. Hold that still there for me. Doing all right? Go ahead and rotate your hip up here, away from me, and then go ahead and relax. So off the get-go with uh, every patient, I always get like a brief history. We want to make sure we're doing the uh, correct side, the correct area of interest, some back history, um, was there any injury to their knowledge, how long have they been having their pain for it, if there was an injury, how long ago, um, is it getting worse, is it staying the same. Um, just ask all these questions, but at the same time when you're asking these questions, you want to own your exam and keep the exam going keep moving and not just stand there and sit there and as you probably already know you can stand there and sit there and talk forever but you gotta move your feet you gotta do some kind of action so your patient moves along with you or you'll just be standing there the whole entire time while us texts in the back are getting impatient I fell. okay uh oh all right any surgeries any previous injuries anything like that no. All right, so I'm just gonna, uh, we're gonna take a picture of your full pelvis and then just. So right here, um, I tell the patient we are taking an image of the full pelvis. Cause you have no idea how many times, or maybe you do, that when I'm feeling for the right side of their uh, crest, they say, oh, it's the left side. I'm like, I know, but I need to take a full picture of the pelvis. So just to save yourself a uh, shake my head, a pump to the face moment, I always let my patient know that we're taking a full picture of the pelvis, uh, so I don't have to hear that. So you're gonna roll your toes together so they touch. There you go. And hold still. All 
All right, you can relax your toes. Alright sir, so that's what we're going to have you do. I'm going to have you stand over here. Your back is going to be against this board. You're going to be facing this way. I'm going to get everything lined up to your height. And then once I do, you're just going to kind of pigeon toe here. And then I'll uh, take the image, alright? So I'll go ahead and... So if you were a first year student, uh, freshman, um, you are probably not comfortable um, touching your patient. You might be lightly palpating your patient when you're feeling for the crest. And therefore, that's why you keep on clipping uh, your anatomy. Um, as time goes on, man, just get more comfortable with uh, touching your patient. Get more comfortable um, jabbing <laughs> your patient, jabbing your finger in there because you need to feel that crest. You'd rather feel it and get the correct positioning instead of lightly palpating the crest and then clipping anatomy, therefore getting a repeat. I put my thumbs on each ASIS to split the difference because a patient's figure uh, at times can be deceiving. All right, hold still. All right. All right, and then it's your right hip again, correct? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna bring your right knee up about halfway. Right about there, you're gonna drop your knee down towards me halfway. Right there is good. And then I'm just gonna feel your hip here again, all right? Hold still. Alright, you can relax, we're all done. So in a moment here, I'm gonna uh, bring your good leg up and put your foot in. If this isn't your first time watching my positioning videos, I like to either demonstrate what I'm gonna have the patient do or just kind of talk them through what I'm about to do. That way they're not um, surprised at what I'm doing. They're in the loop, we're on the same page, and they're just informed. It's a great patient experience in my opinion. Your left hip. Okay. So as I'm bringing the tube over, um, our tube detents at 90 degrees. So once it detents at 90, I kind of just bring it halfway and that's 45. Now I prefer this grid holder over the other grid holder that you place on the table because with this one I can have it free floating off to the side and I can kind of adjust the height of the table to get the air of interest in the center of the uh, IR, the image receptor, compared to having the other grid holder that's placed on top of the table um, making the air of interest um, at the lower portion of the IR, increasing the chances of possibly clipping the posterior hip because the patient's hips may be uh, too sunken into the mattress. And yes, there is OID, however, I use the uh, air gap technique. So instead of going, you know, kind of like at a 40 inches SID, I kind of push it back a little bit so it minimizes the mag. We're gonna bend your left knee towards your chest so bring this up, and then we're gonna put your foot on this holder here. Bring it up more if you can. Is that all right right there? Yeah. All right, hold that still there for me. Just aim for the crotch. Nine times out of 10, you are on the dot. Alright, 
Hold still. All right, we're all done. So this isn't the best example because my patient is actually on a table and not in a bed. But um, if you can imagine, if your patient you know, is a post-op or they're in a gurney and you have those plush beds and they're sunken in um, and you take the image without building the hip up, you're gonna run into a lot of artifact. Um, the springs from the bed, the cushion from the bed. Um, so with that, that's when you find some linen and then you roll that up and I didn't do the best demonstration here but you want to tug on the sheets and stuff it under that hip so it builds that up it rises that hip up that way the hip is more in the center of the IR and you won't be clipping the uh, posterior portion of the hip Man, I wish I had these videos as a student, but it's all good because it inspired me to make this channel and to be there for you. And don't get discouraged if you mess up. You aren't as efficient as fast as you like to be. You'll get better in time. You cannot learn if you don't make mistakes. But if you keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again and not learning from it, then that needs to be addressed. But I believe if you're watching videos like this, you are determined to get better and you will get better. So get your reps in. And over time, new neurons in your brain will form, programmed, and become a habit. Just make sure it's a good habit. I was very excited making this video because of the cross table demo. This was one of the views I was so nervous about because we weren't able to practice this in lab due to us not having the right equipment. So I pretty much just learned on the fly at clinic a lot of trial and error as you can imagine. So that's why I'm very, very excited to have this material for you. I know I would have found this a great value when I was in the radiology program. And if you did find this a great value to you, press that like button, subscribe for my X-ray content, and share this video with other classmates or whomever that may find it of value. You, my friend, have greatness within you. I'll see you at the top. My name is Ray, and I'll be taking your X-rays. I love, baby. Peace.